In this episode, we do one big final end of season chest openings. Things have changed a lot and going forward, who knows what that may bring. But if you want to find out what I got in my diamond chest this time around, please stay tuned. Hey all you splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. If you enjoy this type of content, even though it will be changing uh, due to end of seasons changing and what that brings, please uh, leave a like and a comment and uh, think about subscribing. I appreciate it. Okay, with that said, I just rolled back into town. Uh, I took a short break for the Easter we weekend, and we literally just got back about a half hour ago. And uh, I realized that uh, it was end of season today. We had the big changeover. Uh, you know, the servers went down. We had the big changes we've been talking about. So um, this will be the last, in effect, end of season chest opening video that I do as we know it. I've been doing these type of videos for almost three years now. So uh, as we get into the new system and we figure out how that's going to work, uh, I'll have to figure out what I do about this type of video. Um, but largely, as we know it, this is the last end of season chest opening video. Um, but we'll figure out where that goes going forward. Either way, I was surprised with what my account has done. If, if you've been following me, you know that Archmage plays my account, both my accounts. And I was surprised with what both accounts did. Um, very erratic behavior in that I never, um, my account went into Diamond 1 this season. And I've never experienced that. Even back when I was playing in Modern, the bot only took it as high as Diamond 2, and then it got beat back down to Diamond 3 continually. But now it's in Diamond 1, and it even edged into Champ. I And this is an account that plays with gold level summoners, level 6 rares primarily, and level 3 uh, of the epics and legendaries, right? So it really surprised me and there's been a really erratic behavior as far as what I've been experiencing in matches. So I don't have a, you know, I don't have a guess as far as why is that that is happening. If you've experienced the same thing in this last season, please leave a comment and uh, you know, give me your theory on why this is happening. Um I don't have an idea. Either way, I drew, uh, if you were with me last time around, last season, um, I was guessing that having edged into Diamond, that I would only draw uh, about 25 chests. But due to the way things have happened, um, I drew 61. You can see it right here. I don't have an answer for it, and I don't know why that's happening but um either way times are changing and we'll have to you know further analyze it as we go along but leave your comments uh and tell me uh, what you experienced this last season either way let's go ahead and get into this and um like i said i'm i'm gonna miss you know um i like certain parts of how the new change went into effect um but I'd be lying if I if I said I, I wasn't going to miss opening chests, right? So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I got and cross my fingers. Oh, this is nice. The first one, uh, Ava the Undaunted. This will be the first BCX of that that I've ever got. And starting off with the legendary. So seven coastal sentries and another legendary. Wow, a smock dust blight. Two of them. Nice uh, way to start out. Uh, two Eternan Bruins. 10 Drybone Barbarians, 3 Terracious Grunts, 17 Legendary Potions, 11 Legendary Potions, 3 Wily Coyotians, 10 more Wily Coyotians, uh, 1 Terracious Grunt, 6 Fire Callers, 19 Alchemy Potions, 1 War Pegasus, 1 Drybone Barbarian. I hate to get like 1 BCX in a diamond chest, but you know, they're, this is the last one, so. It is what it is. Nine Imperial Knights, uh, eight War Pegasus, eleven Possessed Puppet, nine Eternan Bruins, uh, five Gold Foil Fire Callers, nice. Six Possessed Puppets, three Swamp Spitters, three Ferox Defenders, two Crower Zox. I, I got one of him this week in a random daily chest. Um, these Eternan Bruins are. Um, 
summoners in general uh, will help me out because most, like I said, this account has level six rare summoners. So these ones that I'm getting for um, and going forward, be able to go ahead and level up uh, using uh, the points we gain on a daily basis um, will be nice to, it'll definitely help out my account. So four riverboat captains, 16 alchemy potions, three possessed puppets, 544 merits, two Adiri fires, 512 merits, 192 merits, three fire callers, 10 gops and bombers, six pyre watch devils, and oh, on the merits, um, since last night was, uh, I wanted to go ahead and open uh, whatever uh, packs I had as far as gladius cases go, uh, I wanted to open them up, so I was able to I opened up 16 Gladius cases last night before the cutoff of today, um, so I could sell. I ended up only getting two gold foil comments. I got some other nice cards. I wanted to do that on video, but since I was away, it just didn't jive. And it, I ended up only getting two gold foil comments, which I sold for DEC, extra thousand DEC. Um, six Pyre Watch Devils. And this is Shaken, another one. Nice. Avis Sturgis. Five Fire Callers, five more Fire Callers. Nine legendary potions, five Franz Roughmane, two more fire callers, fifteen legendary potions. It's always it's always been since this is kind of this is random. It, it's always amazed me how sometimes you will get like multiple of the same card. Um, one possessed puppet, two wily coyotes, but I guess that's why they call them commons, right? One hundred and sixty merits, one Gobson bomber, five. Gold Foil Riverboat Captains, nice. Ten more Possessed Puppets. <clears throat> Eight Helios Matriarch. So overall, doing pretty good on the Summoners this time around. Uh, two more Adiri Fire. Six Wily Coyotes. Nine Alchemy Potions. Twenty-two Legendary Potions. Eleven Terracious Grunts. One Wily Coyotean. Nineteen Alchemy Potions. Nine Pembroke Nymphs. A Fungus Flinger. Sixty-four Merits. And... The final seasonal chest is for Wily Coyotes. So overall, pretty nice. Um, I'm pretty strong. I got a, a pretty strong draw as far as summoners go. Uh, I got several uh, epics and I got several uh, legendaries. So uh, no complaints out of me as far as the final uh, chest draw. Let's go ahead and jump over to my, uh, if this will let me go, Okay. I don't know. It got stuck. So let's go ahead and go to my secondary account so we can go ahead and do the final chest draw for that account as well. Now, this one is this one really amazed me. Um, okay, I have to do the acceptance. It amazed me uh, because once again, this account plays with silver level summoners, what previously was silver level summoners, level four rare summoners, okay? And it got into diamond two. So I don't know what happened in this last season. And I, I, I could take some guesses, but until I get some numbers to back up those guesses, I don't really want to take them. But this account has never been into gold before, and it made it into diamond this last season with uh, level four rare summoners. Don't know how. Okay. Let's go ahead and claim my season end rewards. We'll hide those for now. Okay, so 23 golds. Let's go ahead and see what this, uh, this is the highest level chest that this account has ever earned. Uh, one Coastal Sentry, three War Pegasus, four Wily Coyotean, two Fungus Flingers, four Dumaki Orcs, Two Ferox Defenders, five Fungus Flingers, two Will O Wisps, one Possessed Puppet, two Drybone Barbarian, ten Alchemy Potions, one Imperial Knight, six Swamp Spitters, five Imperial Knights, three Fire Callers, seven Drybone Barbarians, three Wily Coyotes, another Drybone Barbarian, two Ferox Defenders, four Swamp Spitters, three gold foil Dumaki orcs, 48 merits, and finally two fire callers. So uh, if we were uh, still under the old system, I'd say this would be slightly below average. However, since this is the first gold uh, chest that this account has ever earned, 
I'm happy with it. Um, let's go ahead and close out of there. Okay, well, like I said, uh, going forward, this this whole last season uh, has been very erratic for my two accounts, and I don't have any um, ideas I want to throw out there as far as right now. Uh, I'm interested in looking at everybody else's videos that make videos on this topic um, as far as what they experienced over the last season. And I'm also looking forward to see uh, how the new... Um, the new shop shapes up. We'll take a video or I'll do a video this coming week. Um, and after I get into it and look at it and, and have some comments to make on it. Um, but other than that, this has been Bronze Dragon. I'm glad I'm back. Uh, it was a nice weekend, but I'm glad to be back making videos. Uh, like I said, uh, anything I've talked about, please leave a comment as far as what your opinion is, because I'm, I'm looking at uh, gathering information to talk about this. Uh, um, Fingers crossed, you know, fingers crossed. I hope everyone had a good draw on their final season in chess draw. This has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I will see you on the flip side.